Hi, everyone. I'm in kind of a somber mood today. Um, something I never discuss. I don't know why. There's no particular reason. This is a soaping channel. That's what it's primarily about. But sometimes I think it's necessary to open up a little bit. And I mentioned to some of you that um, have been on the channel for a while that I'm working on another channel. It's a channel about um, my life, kind of. Not that my life is anything all that interesting, but I think I've had some events in my life that would be helpful to others. But where I'm going with this is last night I was in a pretty dark depression and I made a video and I almost put it up on this channel and I didn't because it's just, it's so personal. I don't want to chase off anyone um, by sharing too much because after all, this is a soaping channel. It's not Patrick's venting channel. I'll put on the screen what this stuff is. I just want to talk to you for now. So you can just watch me make soap. Um, last night I was very depressed. I didn't sleep, which is not uncommon for me. When I get in a certain state, I just don't sleep. And that's why I make soap a lot at night. I, it's after work. and um, But I do suffer from depression. And um, suffer may be the wrong word. I don't, I don't like that, actually. I don't suffer with depression. I live with depression. Uh, and last night was a real bad night. I got in a real dark place. I try to be upbeat most of the time, try to be very positive, And, well, I just wasn't able to do it last night. And so I did a video about 30 minutes. I think it's two parts because the camera stopped but and it's basically just me talking about my life about my childhood about abuse about several cases of abuse my how I got to the point I am now or it's at least it's the beginning of that and I'd like you my soaping friends to tell me the truth because I'm not going to post that video on this channel unless you say that it's okay to. If you say to me, Patrick, this let's just keep this a soaping channel. If you want to put this on your other channel, that's fine. Which I haven't launched the other channel yet, by the way. I'm building it. But if you don't want it here, tell me. And I'm not going to be offended. You're not going to... I'm not going to go, well, you're a bad cookie because you don't want that. I want your honest opinion. So, uh, anyway, depression. I'm not alone. A lot of us suffer from it. Um, various degrees. I'm not bipolar. I'm not schizophrenic. I'm not manic depressive. I just get depressed sometimes. And it takes a couple of days sometimes for it to go away. And then I'm fine again for a while. But, so, I don't know, I may voice over this, I may not, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm pulling that out, it's not ready yet. Yeah, we're there. Um, I don't want this to be a depressing video. <laughs> That's not my intention. This is just a small batch of soap. Oh, I need mine. Yeah, there we go. 
this is just a tad bit of spirulina here for green. This is uh, alkanet root. Pink clay and red Brazilian clay. I'm just gonna whisk these. So yeah, a little depressed. Um, I'm sorry, I really am, I'm very sorry. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this up or not. It's a nice pink, light, light pink, green, sort of this weird lavendery color. And this is how I'm feeling, a bit muted. <laughs> I could darken them up, but I think this is good for today. Um, I'll put the fragrance and all that on the screen. I'm really just in a weird mood. Do you have depression? I hope you don't. But there are a lot of us who do, so <laughs> I know I'm not alone. Um, but anyway, ooh, okay, so let me talk a bit more about this. I um, was pretty severely abused as a child, physically and sexually. And I guess my, the most, the biggest reason why I feel the need, and I think need is not too strong a word, um, the reason why I feel the need to share my story is so that others know how it messes a person up. How abusing a child doesn't just affect them in the short term, doesn't just hurt the family for the short term, but for the rest of their lives. And it doesn't stop, it doesn't go away. You learn how to manage it sometimes a little better, most of the time. I'm great. <laughs> I can smile, I can laugh, I can make my little froggy videos and be the most positive, cheerful person ever. 
And that's who I want to be all the time. I prefer that state of mind. I do. I want to be happy. Um, pretty much everyone I've ever loved is dead. I'm not saying that to bum anyone out. It just happens to be a fact. Um, and I'm sharing facts. Um, I... I just feel that based on stories I've heard and things I've seen others talk about, that there are people out there who don't take the abuse of children as seriously as they should. I was a latchkey child from a very young age, and I talk about that and part of that in that video that I did last night. Um, yeah, I know that's a little messy there. But, um, that can be tough, you know, on a kid because there's no one there to monitor to see that the child is safe sometimes and. I know some parents don't have a choice. My mother, for a period of time, was a single parent household. My father was away, and I talk about that again in that video, why he was away. And if you're interested in this, let me know. And I will do a video. I will release the video. I want you to know it's... I don't use any foul language in the video. I, I wouldn't do that. Um, I don't curse on video. Do I curse in real life? Sometimes. Not often, though. Use cloth towels. They wash. You can use them over and over and then wash them and then use them over and over again. Don't, we don't need to throw away paper towels. These work great. I bought a ton of these. They work great. Anyway, let me know if you if you think it'd be okay to release the video. I will do it. Hi, I forgot um, to show you something that I'm doing here. What I'm doing is I'm taking some of the oil and the different herbs, or in this case, this is an herb, well, it's the, this is alkanet root, and yeah, just alkanet root here, and oil. And I'm just flicking it on, like so. And I've done this with the, now drop a few of the bigger drops here and there. Anyway, like that. And I've done this with several of them, with the, all three colors. I'm trying to add some little tiny splatters. Like so. Anyway. Um, okay, I have a needle because I want to do some, uh, 
little fine work here. So with the needle, I'm just going to take it, I'm going to take it, turn it backwards. Maybe you're just blowing on it. I've seen that work in some cases. But I'm just trying to do some little fine little lines. Something different. I'm feeling somewhat different. I'm really sorry. I am. I'm. Maybe this is important for you to see, though, that People have good days and people have bad days. Which you know this. You're a human being. You, I'm sure you have good days and bad days. Just some of my bad days can be really dark. This is weird, right? It's just, it's very therapeutic and relaxing for me to do this. It just occurred to me, I'll do this. I'm sure there are easier, I know there are easier ways to do all this stuff. It's just, right now, this is what I need to do. This, this is relaxing. I'm having to think about it and concentrate on it and you're welcome to watch. You can turn down the volume if you don't want to hear me ramble. Um, but a ramble I'm going to do. When I was nine, nine years old, that's right, I ran away for the first time. It was just a short run away. Um, I didn't go very far. I was not very bright at that age in reference to my own survival or how I was going to make it work. I wasn't when I ran away at 14 either. It just... Anyway, <laughs> but I ran away. I went... About 200 miles from home, I made it. I hitchhiked. That's right. Nine years old, I hitchhiked. And I was picked up. I was picked up several times, hitchhiking. And anyway, the story. So I get in the car with this. This man picks me up. He's like, son, where are you coming from? Where are you going? I had on kind of like a baseball jersey thing. I never played sports, it's not like that was what it, but somehow I had this shirt, someone had given it to me, or I, some kid had spent the night and left it, I don't even recall. When I ran away, I just ran away. I didn't give it any thought. Um, anyway, he asked me some questions about myself, and which I thought was really nice, but I don't, didn't trust people, especially men. Um, my experience with them had not been good, as I talk about in the video, so that I should give you some ideas. But anyway, he and I uh, were riding in the car. He asked me where I was going, and I said California. And at the time, we were in Texas. We had traveled to Texas for my dad's job once again. And um, I told him California, and he said, well, I'm going, I think he said Arizona. I don't recall where he said anymore. Um, I'm going to put something here. Uh, uh, he uh, had a funny look to him. When I say a funny look, he just didn't look quite human. 
Okay, I know how weird that sounds. And maybe you'll understand a bit more in a bit. Um, there was something about him that just seemed odd to me. And I don't know what that was. I didn't know what that was. I just knew it was weird. You know, as a kid, how you kind of shy away from weirdness. Well, I kind of gravitated toward it. Just me. Weird kid. Um, okay. I'm going to stop for a moment. I'm getting tired. Uh, we drove for a while. And we stopped. He needed gas and he asked me if I wanted something to eat. He never asked if I was a runaway. Don't you find that a lot? He never asked where my parents were. He never asked anything at all that a normal adult should ask a child, right? I know this now. At that time, I knew it. But, uh... uh he asked me if I wanted anything to eat. I think he brought me back some corn nuts, which I liked, actually. but And uh, a Coke, which I didn't drink. I was a tab drinker. This is another time. Um... We, he came back to the car, he brought the stuff, and as he got back in the car, he did put, he put his hand on my knee. And I kind of had a gut reaction to that, because, well, that had led to most of the sorrows of my childhood. And I just went to slap his hand away, and when I did, my hand kind of slipped up his arm and hit him in the face. And when I did, the side of his face fell off and hit me in the, it fell on my leg. I'm not kidding. He yells, he grabs it, and he jumps out of the car, and he runs to the bathroom of the service station and doesn't come back out. And finally, I was just sitting in the car, freaked out. Finally, uh... The, there was a woman that worked in the store came out to the car and she said because um, cars were coming and leaving buying gas and I'm just sitting there she finally came back and she said is your daddy okay? I said I, my, not, my daddy's not with me but I knew what she meant and I said but my uncle's in the bathroom that was just my gut reaction I learned early how to survive and that was one of the ways was to lie right and she went to the bathroom and knocked on the door, and I waited in the car. Well, she comes back about 10 minutes later. And here's the story. This guy had had some kind of skull cancer, cancer of the skull, and had lost his right cheek and his chin and part of the eye socket and had a prosthetic, which I'd never seen or heard of before in my life. But why do I tell you this story? Okay, so anyway, the, the story is, uh, eventually, I got out of the car. He wouldn't come back to the car. I got out of the car. I started walking and decided to go back home. I crossed the road, picked up almost immediately, and got back within 20 miles of home, 25 miles of home, and I called my mother, and she came and got me. Um, I'm in a better mood today. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? So the soap is set up. Well, it really hasn't. It's very, very soft, but I needed to cut it. I, for me, I just needed to do this. And I'm cutting these in rather large bars because I love this top. And I want that to show. And if you cut them too thin, you're not going to get as much of that. So these are going to be some kind of hefty little bars. They're not real tall, but at least they'll make up for it in width. Look what I just did. Oh, you can't see it. See that? That's how soft it is. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to stop right here and just let it continue to set up. Um, I started too soon. I'll see if I can get this. What can I use? Oh, let's see. I can use the back side of a knife, maybe. Push it away. Yeah. Like so, without damaging it too much. I just wanted to get one slice off. 
No, it's just too soft. I can't do it. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to do any more on it. We'll come back in just a bit when it sets up a bit more. I'm so sorry that I didn't come back for the cutting. It was just a bad day. It's a better day now. So here's just a photograph, and I want to thank you again, everyone. Goodbye.